Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'm going to teach you about the four types of page sections available in your Squarespace website. We have classic editor sections, fluid engine page sections, gallery sections, and list sections. Now, each one of these sections has a unique way to edit the content, so we've got a lot to cover in this video. I've included some timestamps below in case you'd like to jump ahead, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can show you exactly in Squarespace how to customize these types of page sections in your own website. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I'm going to give you an overview of all of these different types of sections and how to edit them. First, we have Fluid Engine, where we can edit mobile separately. We've got content blocks to work with, layers and alignment, and these are available in your website footer. Then we have auto layout sections, like list sections and gallery sections. Those don't have content blocks, and they automatically arrange content for you, and you can't add them to your website footer. Then we have Classic Editor. There's no mobile editing, no layering or alignment options. It's a 12-column grid, but they are available in the footer of your website, and we're going to take a look at each one of those in this tutorial, okay? So I'm going to hop into edit mode here, and I want to show you this very first section. This is a Fluid Engine section. We'll see Add Block on the left, and on the right-hand side of the screen, we have Edit Section, View Layouts, Duplicate, save, and then we can move the section up or down. This is at the top of the page, so I can't move it up. Then, of course, we can remove the section by clicking the trash can. Now, inside a Fluid Engine section, as I'm moving my cursor around, we'll see things outlined in blue. If we want to add a content block, like a button, for example, that button will be outlined in blue. I can move things around to layer them on top of each other, and if I go to the mobile version of my website, I can change the order on mobile without editing the desktop version of my site. This is something that is super unique for Fluid Engine sections. Now, the other section type are auto layouts. If we scroll down here, I want you to notice that on the left-hand side of the screen, there is no Add Block option. This here is a list section, and on the right-hand side of the screen is how I'll go about editing the content. You'll notice directly underneath that, we have Edit Section, Duplicate, Favorite, Move Up and Down and Remove, but Edit Content right here is how I change the content of this section. I can't click on these images. I can highlight this text, but I can't type anything in there. This is an auto layout section, which means I have to edit the content by clicking this option here. Now, underneath this video, I have a tutorial about these list sections. There's a lot to go through here, so definitely check that one out. But for now, rest assured that when you see edit content next to this specific icon, it's a list section. Scrolling down the screen here, I've got another auto layout section, and that's a gallery section. Here you'll see edit gallery on the right-hand side of the screen. And just like we saw with the list, there's no add block section over here on the left. And I can't click on these images. I can't rearrange anything or edit the content. I have to click on this option to change the content of the section. Now, a gallery section can only have two pieces of content, a description and an image. We can rearrange these in any order we want them to be in, and we can add a caption or description by typing right here into the gallery content. Now, I'm not going to see that here in this gallery section because I need to select Edit Section and then toggle on Captions. And underneath this video, you'll find a tutorial specifically about gallery sections because, as you can see here, we've got a lot of different options to explore. So, again, check out the video linked below to learn more about those sections. Now, there's one other page section type I mentioned, and that's a classic section. Those are an old type of page section, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'll select Add Section, and on the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to scroll all the way down to Add a Blank classic editor. The first thing you'll see is that Squarespace wants me to upgrade this. They're trying to get us to not use this section anymore, and instead of the add block option, I need to hover my cursor until I find this plus sign. This is how I add a content block to this section. Let's add some text, and we'll just say sample headline. There we go. We'll make that a heading one, and let's click the plus sign, and we can add a button block as well. And I want you to see here that I can't place this button block. I can't just drag and drop it to place it over the title like I did in our other section. These content blocks have to sit next to each other. They have to either be in a row or in a column, and we don't have the ability to create any layers. If we scroll back up to our Fluid Engine section, it's a completely different editing experience where I can easily move that button around anywhere I want it to be. But if we scroll down to this classic editor, we are stuck working with rows and columns. Now, classic editor has a content block that a Fluid Engine section doesn't. 
That is a spacer block. The spacer block is designed to help us create more space inside the section when we're stuck in columns and rows. And again, you'll find this classic editor section inside a page as well as in the footer of your website. Now scrolling back up here to a fluid engine section, remember when we edited mobile separately, we can rearrange this content here and it doesn't affect the way it shows up on desktop. That's the only section type that does that. Even classic editor can't be adjusted that way. As soon as I make a change and go back to the desktop version, you'll see my content has moved. So if you're using classic editor, be super duper careful because editing mobile will change what you set up on the desktop version of your site. Now I do want to show you how to identify a fluid engine section versus an auto layout section when you're adding that section to your page. Click the add section option and on the left hand side of the screen you're going to see a lot of different categories here. I'll let you in on a little secret, Squarespace changes these names all the time and inside these different sections you're going to find a mix of auto layout and standard sections. Here's how you can tell what you're working with. If we scroll down through these intro sections here, you'll notice that on one specific example, there's an icon right here. This icon is an indicator that we're about to select an auto layout section. In this case, it's a list section. I can tell it's a list section because it has an image, text, and a button. Gallery sections don't have buttons, so this is definitely a list section. Now you'll find a lot of them under the people section. You see this icon here? These are all list sections with their own unique design settings. Again, you'll find a tutorial below, but be super careful because this people section, that's not an auto layout, that's a fluid engine section. Same with this one and this one right here. You need to look for this indicator to let you know that you're using an auto layout section. To find a gallery section, you need to click on images and look for that indicator again. And remember, galleries can only have images and text. So if you see a button or a title, that's not a gallery section. It's likely a list section or a standard fluid engine section. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom of the page here and select edit site footer, I want to show you the difference. When we choose the add section option, we can either add one of these pre-made footer sections, which are all fluid engine sections, or we can add classic editor. There's no auto layout for the footer of your Squarespace website. I realize there's one more very important thing to show you before we call this tutorial a wrap. I'm gonna scroll all the way back up to our very first page section, and that is the individual settings for these page sections. If you click on the edit section option, for a standard fluid engine section, you've got options for grids and fill and lots of fun stuff there. You've got a divider option that you can explore, and I'll have a tutorial about this underneath this video. What I wanna bring your attention to in this tutorial is the background option where you can upload an image, a video, or create background art. And we also have the color themes. This is what dictates the colors that are being used by all the content blocks in this section. If I click on bright two, you're going to see the color change. Even the text on the button is different for that color theme. Dark one, completely different colors. Light is two, totally different. All of these colors for this color theme are set in my site styles menu. Now, if we scroll down to the list section here, we'll see the same edit section option. This is where we can add the divider, we can change the background, and we can adjust the color theme. Scrolling down to the gallery section, this one's a little bit different, we'll click edit section, and the only option here is colors. We don't have the same background options for a gallery section built right into Squarespace. And last but not least, down here for the classic section, you will see the same options for background and for colors, but because we're working with that grid, the design section here for height and width is totally different than what we've seen in the fluid engine, list, or gallery sections, so definitely explore this option if you're going classic, but know that you do have the divider option here as well. And there you have it, my friend, your overview of page sections in Squarespace and how to customize them. I'm Becca Harpane from Inside the Square, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments, and check out some of the content I have linked in the description below, because I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.